for the first time this year in NASCAR Race Day. Live from Daytona before the Budweiser shootout. John, Jimmy, Kenny, and Wendy gets you ready for the first on-track action of 2009. Big crash up in turn two. There's Paul Menard it's and the Scott 98. Speed. Yeah, when you were reading that promo, we could see Paul Menard in the 98. I, he was like sideways I, up at the top of the I track. I believe it was a right rear by, or something because it looked like the car just started to get just all at once. Well, let's have a look, Daryl. It's right here going into turn one. And about right along in here, it just starts I believe it to, was the right uh, rear. Right yeah, rear tire. It appeared to be. Scott Speed just couldn't stay off him. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it just steps out. I'm, it, it, it's got the look of a right rear tire being down. Let's see if we can see when he comes by here. Yeah, I think that's what it was. You see the... Yeah. Sparks off the wheel. I believe in the first replay we see a little something flying out from behind. There it goes. Yeah, there's, you saw the rubber chunks yeah, flying out yeah. from behind it. What's going to be good is I think we've got minimum damage on both those race cars. Scott yeah. Speed, he turned that car just at, I mean, almost the last minute. The right rear gets into the wall pretty good right yeah, there. A little bit of right front damage on Scott Speed, the 82. You can see the right rear tire is definitely down on the car. And I don't know if he's made contact with somebody. Or, you know, earlier in this run, but it, she just steps out. That's a sign of a right rear, just soft, and then it goes. Now there's Scott Speed's right front. The tire is down and damaged from contact, and the valence is all pushed up. These That's are two, from contact with the track apron yeah. coming off the banking. These are the, you got your pole setter for tomorrow night's race, and Scott is up there in uh, third or fourth, fourth, fourth place. So uh, this could have significant uh, impact on the race tomorrow night. Menard walks away. He's okay. But the big question is, how bad is that car? Exactly. Well, we know the guy that works on it's used to fixing them. He did the fixed Dale Jarrett's car here one year and he won the 500. That's so. right. Wow. When I was looking at that 98, I was thinking about Todd Parrott and uh, that right. Todd had fixed Dale Jarrett's car here. But uh, Larry Carter is capable of getting his hands around that baby. Oh, yeah. I'd say they'll evaluate it very closely before they would give up that uh, front row start. Let's go down to the Red Bull garage. You know while. what I like? The guy in front of me. He doesn't even know who the guy is. Doesn't <laughs> matter. The guy in front of me. Now, now what's interesting here, Daryl, is, is I think what they're trying to do with that right rear tire tore up is, is they don't want to drag that thing back around all the way from turn two with the wrecker, so they're trying to put it on this rollback. So I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't look good. I'm telling you that. No. <laughs> I don't know what they're trying to do. But I don't have a good uh, feeling about it. I don't it. either. No, I want to. I want to stand up for these uh, for these fellows, um, these Miller Towing guys. They rehearse these things. I mean, they practice. Uh, you know, during the off season, and this is a very dedicated group of. These aren't the guys on wrecked on speed. Okay, these <laughs> okay. aren't the. the Toe guys from Chicago. Well, I'm feeling better uh, now then. <laughs> no, this is a, a very dedicated group of professionals that, you know, what they do for a living is they haul these race cars and they do it at, at quite a variety of most of the ISC tracks, at least in the eastern United States. And uh, so that I'd say that car's in good hands. Yeah, no, and Larry, the right side's not too bad. Uh, it, but, but again, Mike, to back up what you're saying, they're, they're trying to keep from destroying that race car, uh, putting it on the rollback, and they, it, they don't want to drag it around because the right rear tire is right. destroyed. See how they're positioning the rollback under it so they yeah. don't have to move the car further? Yeah. I mean, I remember a crew chief got in a big argument with a record driver at Talladega who didn't know what he would, you know, quite what he was doing to the satisfaction of the team when he brought their car back. And uh, I'm glad we're a long way from those days. You and me both. But this is let it all hang out and 57 cars here trying wow. to qualify for this Daytona 500. And it, it's a little time consuming, but I like what's happening here because we all remember the day when, you know, the local record driver would pull up with a tow rope hook it around whatever piece of uh, roll cage he could find and drag the carcass back to the garage and oftentimes you know you had the potential to do more damage towing the car back than was done in the crash so i applaud the process and the fellows that are doing it uh, they're doing a great job this is definitely progress 
Absolutely. It may not be exciting to watch, but it's progress, folks. We'll have more from Daytona right after this.